Hello again, and welcome to yet another edition of Computers 101. Did you ever wonder why certain processes take longer than others to execute? Have you ever wondered how to terminate a stalled or frozen program? If you answered yes and no to these questions, this video is for you. Today's topic, the Windows Task Manager. I will show you how to view running processes, start and terminate processes, and view your CPU and virtual memory usage. Now there are two easy ways to access the Windows Task Manager either by holding down the control, alt, and delete keys on your keyboard or by going to your taskbar, right mouse clicking and choosing task manager. This is the Windows Task Manager window. Now there are five critical tabs that we will be dealing with. The Applications tab, the Processes tab, the Performance tab, the Networking tab, and the Users tab. We'll begin with the Applications tab. Basically, once this tab is checked, you'll see all of your applications as well as the status of the applications. Now we see one process here is not responding. So that usually means that the process froze but now it's running again. So the process is running off and on. Next we will move to the Processes tab. Now this column contains all of your image names or the names of the running processes. Most of these are EXE files which are executable. Your Username column displays the username from which these processes were executed. Now I can terminate any process under the admin username, but I cannot pro terminate a process under the system username because those are system initiated processes which are crucial to the proper running of Windows. The CPU tab explains how much CPU usage each process takes up. And the memory usage tab describes how much virtual memory each process takes up. Now we can sort each entry by image name, username, CPU, or memory usage in ascending or descending order. So the process using the most memory usage right now is winamp.exe. Now the performance tab gives us details of the CPU usage history and your page file usage history. Right now we see quite a bit of activity in the CPU usage history because I have a lot of running processes but the page file usage history remains straight since I'm not really doing a lot with those running processes. And it also gives you some totals on your CPU usage as well as your physical memory. The networking tab gives an overview of each of the local area connections and their activities. So right now the only established network connection I have is a local area connection 1. Not too much activity there since I'm not really doing a lot online. Right now I'm running at 100 megabits per second on local area connection 1. And finally, the Users tab gives you a brief overview of how many users have initiated a Windows session. Basically, I'm um, the only user right now in this session, so I have the options either to disconnect 
or log off. Now if I log off, that still keeps the user session and any open windows active within Windows. Disconnecting disconnects entirely, thereby terminating all running processes that admin initiated. Now say if we want to terminate explorer.exe, we go over to the processes tab and terminate it accordingly. Now take note as to what happens when I terminate explorer.exe. So we'll just hit end process here and the task manager warning will come up asking if you're sure you want to terminate the process. So we'll just select yes. Now watch what happens. All of the open windows and the icons on the desktop suddenly disappear. Oh no, what do we do now? That's easy. We'll go to File, select New Task or Run, and type explore.exe. Then hit OK. And momentarily, all of the icons and the open windows should magically reappear. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Windows Task Manager. Hope you enjoyed this presentation. Once again, I'll take any questions, comments, or suggestions you might have, maybe for future presentations. Once again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it useful. You know where to leave the comments. Right down there. Peace out.